Welcome to your very first lesson on my advanced mini course on how to start a profitable online store. And specifically today, I'm gonna to provide you an intro for the material to come on the four pillars on how to build a profitable e-commerce store. Now, one of the philosophies of everything that I teach is that you really need to own your own site. Because when you don't own your own site, your business is at the mercy of someone else. And you want complete design flexibility in order for your brand and your site to stand out. You wanna be in control of your own destiny. You wanna be able to sleep at night knowing that your account can't be banned the next day by factors outside of your control. And most importantly, you want to establish your own brand and future-proof your business. Now, I know a lot of people who might be watching this video already sell on Amazon, and they're probably making a lot of money. Uh, Amazon is a huge marketplace, and it's an excellent place to generate some cash flow. But here's the thing that you need to remember about Amazon. Amazon does not have your interests in mind. Their primary focus is their own growth and their own stock price. They can raise prices at any time, and they've been raising prices multiple times every year. They can change their algorithms and make your products really hard to find. They can prevent you from selling over the holidays. They can ban incentivized reviews. They are constantly changing the rules and shuffling things around. And I know a lot of my colleagues have seen their businesses drastically get reduced overnight because of an arbitrary rule that Amazon has just imposed. And with Amazon, as I mentioned before, you can't establish a brand. People who shop on Amazon think that they are buying from Amazon. And as a result, your brand gets very little exposure. Uh, Amazon charges a large percentage of your sales. By the time you factor in their fees and the FBA fees, you're losing like 33%. You can't build a customer base. People who've bought from you before, they just go back on Amazon and they might buy from someone else. There's no brand loyalty there. And that's probably the most important factor. Repeat sales are the lifeblood of any business. So you're probably taking this mini course because you want to start your own e-commerce store. Now some of you probably are already selling on Amazon. Some of you are starting from scratch and just want to start your own online store. And I just want to say a couple of things. Here's where most people screw it up. Now if you're already selling on Amazon, well selling on Amazon is relatively straightforward, right? You list your products and Amazon brings you the traffic. But with your own site, there are actually a whole bunch of other factors that come into play. So for one thing, you have to optimize your site for conversions, you have to drive your own traffic, and you have to learn how to market to your own customers. And with your own store, there's a lot more links in the chain if you think about e-commerce as a chain. And you can't really generate any sales unless all the links are functional. So here's the reality. Uh, I've been teaching a class since 2011, and I've helped students with all different scenarios. And when I see someone fail, I would say that most people fail with their own shops because they start driving traffic to a site that just isn't ready to convert sales and then they give up when the sales don't come. And the key I would say to running your own profitable online store is to kind of pay close attention to what Amazon does and then replicate it with your own shop. And today I'm gonna to show you all the tactics that you can use to generate sales with your own site and build trust. Now before we get into the guts of the material, I just wanna emphasize that everything that I'm teaching you as part of this mini course are strategies that I actually implement in my online store at bumblebeelinens.com. When you get a chance, you guys can go check it out. It is at bumblebeelinens.com. It is a store that my wife and I started back in 2007 so that she could stay at home with the kids. And over the years, it's grown to double and triple digits. And today it is a seven figure online store. And as part of my blog over at mywifeputterjob.com, I actually treat my online store like kind of a laboratory. Whenever a new strategy or tactic comes up, I immediately try it on my online store and I write about the results at mywifequitterjob.com. So you can be assured that everything that I'm teaching you are actual strategies that I'm implementing on my shop and I actually have real data to back it up, which I will point out in various lessons of the tutorial. So I hope you enjoy this advanced six day mini course and feel free to send me email at any time if you have any questions about any lesson in the tutorial. All right, and so the rest of this mini course is gonna talk about the four pillars of e-commerce. Trust, when someone lands on your site, you have to convince them to buy. Two, retain. You need to be able to bring people back to your site who aren't necessarily interested right away, but haven't bought yet. You need customers to return. You need to get people who have bought from you to buy multiple times and create some sort of recurring revenue stream for your e-commerce business. And finally, the fourth pillar is traffic. You need to be able to get people to find you online and shop at your online store. All right, so the first pillar that I'm gonna talk about probably in the next lesson is how to build trust. So as soon as someone lands on your site, they immediately need to know what you sell, why they should shop here, 
and whether your shop is trustworthy. And in fact, it usually happens within the first five seconds whether someone decides whether they're going to actually shop from you or not. They need to know whether their order will be delivered on time, how's the customer service. One thing I do have to say is that everyone who shops on Amazon, they trust Amazon. So Amazon actually doesn't have this problem. But if you are a brand new shop, you need to build trust with your customer immediately. And a lot of that has to do with how you present yourself to the customer on your website. Pillar number two is how to retain your customers. Now the average conversion rate online right now for an e-commerce store is just 2%. And what that means is that 98% of the visitors that you get are not going to buy on the first visit. And as a result, you need a way to bring them back over and over and over again until they're ready to buy. Now, people who have landed on your site, they might be interested in your products, but they might leave for some reason or another, but they have short memories and they're not going to remember you unless you actively get them back. And these days with all the different platforms online, people often require four to eight touch points before they make a purchase from you. All right. And so as part of pillar two, we're going to cover email marketing, Facebook ads, Google retargeting ads, push notifications, and Facebook messenger. So stay tuned for that lesson. Pillar number three, people who have bought from you before are much more likely to buy from you again. But here's the thing, when you buy something from a store, chances are you're going to forget about that store. And uh, even though you really love the products, sometimes you forget. And as a result, you need to remind customers who have purchased from you before to come back and buy more. Now there's this statistic among the business community that a 5% increase in retention results in 75% more profit. And guess what? You can't really get your customers to return on Amazon. And that is the singular advantage that you have with your own website. And the way you do it is you convince customers to come back via some sort of incentive. And then finally, once the other three pillars are in place, you need to start building traffic to your store. Now you don't want to start driving traffic until you have the other three pillars in place. Otherwise you could be wasting the traffic that's actually coming to your site. Because remember, there's only a 2% conversion rate on average. So in this mini course, I'm going to show you some straightforward ways to drive traffic to your store through Google ads, Facebook ads, influencer marketing, and search engine optimization. And I do want to emphasize that traffic is the last pillar that you need to worry about because the first three pillars must be in place first. All right. And so after you're done with this entire mini course, you should know how to make sure your website is ready before you start driving traffic to it, how to establish trust with your visitors, how to bring customers back over and over and over again until they're ready to buy, and then how to get existing customers to return for more. And that's all I had for this introductory video. I hope I got you excited about the lessons to come. And I do want to say real quick that all these lessons are a small subset of what I offer in my full blown class over at profitableonlinestore.com. If you're looking for an in-depth course with live office hours where I'll answer your questions in real time, head on over to profitableonlinestore.com and check it out. Meanwhile, stay tuned for your next lesson.